Hello guys, happy December. It's been a pretty nice start to the month, nice and relaxing. Just polar opposite of last month and thank you so much for the positivity on last month's vlog. I'm definitely coming back from the brink, coming back from that stressful place, spending more time creating art. I got to work on some paw paintings, so you probably have seen the video of those on my channel by now. But yeah, to solve the mystery of what those miscellaneous tools were for at the end of last month's vlog, I just wanted to try something more expressive and more... something a bit less constrained in terms of creating art, something I could get my hands dirty with and just have fun with, so... That was one of the most relaxing mornings I've ever had and if it's something that you've been thinking about trying I would definitely recommend it. It was such a fun and freeing practice and I can't wait to do more of them. Um, I've got them here. If you haven't seen them, I did a few on paper, um, just like some, some of the excess paint that I had. I wanted to have something that I could stick in my sketchbook. They're definitely not the best examples of paint pouring out there. Um, there are a lot of pros <laughs> that do a lot better than this, but for my first attempt I'm pretty happy. These ones were my last ones out of all of them. These ones came out as my favourite, but overall I'm just really happy with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I would love to hear some suggestions from you guys. I made them initially to have as decoration in my room, but now that I think about it I don't actually know where I'm going to put them, so... And I apologise if you can hear planes going overhead, there are always planes going overhead. Um, so if you ever do hear that noise in my videos, that's what it is, I just live under a flight path. Um, over the weekend we, we went to my dad's for dinner, which was lovely, great to spend time with the family. It was my sister's birthday, so we just chilled out there for a good few hours. We opened presents and just kind of looked back and reflected on that, you know, my sister's almost 30 and what a life it's been for all of us growing up into, like, adulthood. I ate Callaloo for the first time um, and that was nice. My dad made a nice good meal and it was just a nice kind of separation from and a line under the the mood and the tone of last Sarah month. Twenty seven today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Since then, I, I've literally just finished filming the PayPal video. I was so nervous to make it and I hope that doesn't come across in the video, but I don't know, it's just not the kind of content that I'm used to making. Uh, but that's all done now and for the rest of the day, I think I'm gonna work on some commissions. I've also started doing a few like small still life practices. I'm taking a break from the coral paintings I'm so indecisive with what I want to do. I always like decide on a thing that I'm going to stick to for a month and then like two days in I change my mind. So at the moment I'm doing still life paintings. I'll show you. And I need to tidy this room. I feel like once the room's tidy, I'll completely be able to like wipe the slate clean and start this month properly. I also got back on my exercise bike for the first time in probably almost a year. I'm still like, very anxious at the moment for no real reason that I can explain. So while I was kind of lying in bed yesterday, kind of really withdrawing into myself and panicking for no reason, I just made the decision, something that I've been thinking about for ages as well, but talked myself out of, I made the decision to just get out of bed, not think about it at all, and grab that bike and just start cycling. And I did, you know, I did a very, easy half hour cycle. I didn't get myself too out of breath, I just wanted to be moving and you know release some of those endorphins and it definitely helped. Straight afterwards is when I did my first still life painting. I just literally still still in my like workout gear, sweating, just sat down and started painting for the next like hour. So I'm like out of the moping phase I think and I'm ready to take steps to get into a more positive mindset, a more productive mindset, and finish this year strong and happy. Oh, and I'm wearing my good enough t-shirt, so if you watch my PayPal video, you'll probably see that, but yeah, that's it for now. 
I'm gonna have some lunch and then I think I said I'm gonna work on some still lives, but I actually have some commissions to work on. It does seem that Marion's left out of the gang more and more lately. Maybe it'd do her some good to have a little party. Apologies if my hair looks kind of crazy this morning. I literally just decided to cut like another inch off it for no real reason. I decided to vlog today just because I really haven't done a lot of filming this month and I'm just feeling a bit like out of practice. So I thought I'd make the effort today, get myself back into the swing of it. So far this month I've been in a much better headspace than I was last month and just feeling a lot more capable, a lot more positive but I'm still not 100% on track with like being as productive as I'd like to be. There are a lot of days where I still just can't really convince myself to do anything. So what I've been doing is just committing to at least one thing a day. I find that if I have like a massive list of things I need to do, um, I'll find it quite overwhelming and I'll end up doing nothing. So I've been writing a to-do list every day of just one thing, one top thing that I have to do that day and then I'll have maybe three three at most things underneath that that you know if if I'm if I finish that one thing and I'm feeling productive still I'll do those other three things but at this point I think it's time to snap out of that like it's nice to be nice to yourself it's nice to go easy on yourself for a little while but sometimes you just need to kick yourself up the bum and uh, get on with things so vlogging today because if I'm filming I need something to film so it always makes me kind of productive and I'm starting today with a quick tidy of my room it looks quite messy but and this might be famous last words but I don't think it will take too long to tidy up it's a lovely bright sunny day it's freezing cold but don't think I will be going out anywhere today it's a good day to be in doing some admin -y stuff so after I've tidied up I will sort through some emails and comments and stuff like that then I have I think four commissions that I want to get done probably before the weekend so I'm, I'll see how much I can get through of those. Oh and I do have a couple of videos to edit as well and some Patreon content to get on with. But yeah that's where we're at at the moment. Looking forward to taking you through this productive day with me. Before I tidy my desk I thought I would just show you the little bit of art I've been doing. So I think you've seen this one. Um, this is the sketchbook that I'm using to do a few still life practices. So this was the first one I did. I don't use my sketchbooks in order so they're a bit messed up. This is the second one. I really like this one but it's still not quite as stylized as I would like. And then this is the most recent one. Um, it's actually not finished but I am going to leave it as it is. Only this bit and this bit have had their like second coat and the rest is still the underpainting but I wasn't really happy with where this was going so I thought I would leave it as it is because it doesn't look too bad how it is. But yeah, that is the extent of my creativity this month. I really enjoy doing these just because I don't have to commit a lot of time to them and if I do have time today I'll probably do one or two more. Now it's time to tackle some emails. Filming my day has turned out to be a very good decision. It's made me so much more productive already. But this is probably my least favorite thing to do. Okay, now lunch, package orders, work on commissions, edit two videos, and work on some Patreon stuff. It's a very boring day to film because I'm gonna be spending most of it at my desk, but it's so far been like my most productive day in like a month, so I'm gonna keep filming anyway.
So it's the next day now and I had just about enough time yesterday evening to work on one more quick still life study. Uh, this was the first one that I actually timed so didn't turn out exactly how I would have wanted it to. I didn't finish it and it still just wasn't really going in the direction that I'd hoped for but with these quick studies um, it doesn't really matter how it looks. It's, they're, they're a lot of fun to do just a great sort of excuse to get painting and not really have to commit to creating something perfect. Um, so I enjoyed the process, I didn't necessarily like how it turned out but I'm looking forward to trying that one again once I'm a bit more used to the timed aspect. I'm now working on a couple of commissions, um, hopefully before the sun sets. But yeah, yesterday evening Ozzy came round after work, so we just had quite a chill one, uh, watched a bit of TV, had an early night and then he got up for work at about 6 o'clock this morning, so I just used that as an excuse to get up and get doing things. I edited a video which is exporting now and should be up later today, and now I'm working on these commissions. Um, later on I'll be putting up the Christmas tree with Mum, um, so I just want to get as much done as possible before that. I was kind of hit on the last few days with the comparison monster so just like a sense of not doing as much as I should be I think because yesterday I was talking about how I was having such a productive day when I actually think about it in the scheme of things you know I didn't get that much done really it's just productive on the scale of how productive I've been recently and I sometimes look at other artists, especially on YouTube, when you get to see their day-to-day -day lives. I see them just achieving great things and they're out there, they're doing things constantly, they have the most amazing work ethic and, you know, they're really active on social media and I feel like I, I just feel like I do the bare minimum sometimes, like I'm always just trying to catch up with myself and the things that I put out aren't up to the standard that I would necessarily like just because I feel like I'm constantly rushing to just get something done. Um, so I kind of quickly had to shift my view of things. It's a tip that I've given in a couple of videos before, but you know, when you're feeling envious or almost disheartened by the achievements of others, just to use that as inspiration and to really admire them for what they do and appreciate the work that they put in. So it's given me something to work for. It's a great way to really just outline all the things that you want and you want to be doing and you want to be achieving and have that blueprint set out for you. You can look at someone else and see what they're doing and say, yeah, I want to do that as well. So it's given me a few areas that I feel like I'm going to try and work on into the new year. My issue is just feeling like I'm constantly trying to play catch up with myself, get myself onto like a level playing field where I actually can manage a day's work that entails all these things that other people are doing. Yeah, as I said, the plan for later on today, um, we're a bit late, we're, we're like a day late. We normally do the tree um, and all the Christmas decorations 12 days before Christmas. It's like a very strict rule in our house. Um, but my mum my mum and I, our schedules haven't really matched up recently, but today we're both home, we're both raring to go. So we've had the same tree for about 10 years, I think. We, we're fake tree people, but yeah, we've had this tree a long, long time. It's definitely on its last legs, but it's always, I don't know, it's like a proper tradition, the Christmas tree day and all the other like Christmas decorations around the house. So I'm looking forward to that. We put our Christmas jumpers on, I have some Christmas earrings that I always wear, um, we put our playlist on. It was like an evening thing, a nice chill wine down, so she'd have a glass of wine, she'd make brownies, and I always got a little thimble-sized glass of wine um, from when I was about 13 or 14. and. This year I, uh, I've actually put myself out there and asked for an adult sized glass of wine, if I can have an adult sized glass of wine this time, um, and she's thinking about it, so I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. We're not like the most Christmassy festive people, but I do love Christmas music, so. And once the fairy lights are on, I don't know, there's a real like romance to it, so. That's the plan for this evening, but for now I just want to work on these commissions. Young Edward died and his half-sister Mary succeeded him on the throne. She didn't hesitate to arrest John's father. Remember, this was an era when the line between math and magic was a lot more blurry than it is today. No, this was much more significant, inspiring some, 
and frightening others. Alright, that's it for this one. So by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be Christmas Eve. So if you are celebrating, have a wonderful one. If you're not celebrating, have a smashing Monday. And I will see you soon for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.